So we're going to take a look at reciprocal functions, section 7.4. Um, the first thing that I'd like to do with you is just to re um, go over what a reciprocal is or remind you what it is. Um, recall that the reciprocal of x is 1 over x, provided that x can't be equal to 0. And if you recall, that's because um, you would have undefined if 0 was in the denominator. Some examples of reciprocals, so a reciprocal of 3 is 1 over 3, the reciprocal of negative 5 is 1 over negative 5, or if you like, negative 1 over 5. The reciprocal of 2 over 7 is 1 over 2 over 7, or 7 over 2. The reciprocal of 0 is undefined, and the reciprocal of 1 is 1. So how does a number and its reciprocal behave comparatively? So let's fill out the table. We're going to compare x with 1 over x. So if x is 1, then we would get 1 over 1, which is 1. If x is 3, we would have 1 over 3, or 0 0.3 repeating. If x is 5, we would have 1 over 5, or 0 0.2. And if x is 20, we would have 1 over 20, or 0 0.05. And if x is 100, we would have 1 over 100, or 0 0.01. So, as you can see, as the number x increases, okay, then its reciprocal will decrease in value. We say then that their behaviors go in opposite directions. Now we're going to be taking a look at reciprocal functions. So if you are given a function f of x, its reciprocal is 1 over f of x. So for example, let's say that you have that f of x is equal to uh, x plus 2. Then its reciprocal would be y equals 1 over x plus 2.